Hey kiddos, it's Riley and I am back today with another story time video for you all. This one is from 5 Minute Princess Stories by Disney and it is called Tangled, Rapunzel's Story. Grab a stuffy and a sippy and get ready to relax for a few minutes. Tangled, Rapunzel's Story. Once upon a time there was a magical kingdom ruled by a good queen and a kind king. They were happy until the queen became very sick. The king had heard of a flower with healing powers and sent his guards to dig it up. Unfortunately, the flower belonged to a wicked woman named Mother Gothel. Losing the flower made Mother Gothel furious, so when the king and queen had a baby, she stole the child away. Mother Gothel hid the girl Rapunzel in a secret tower for almost 18 years. It turned out that Rapunzel's hair which was magnificently long, had the same healing powers as the flower. Mother Gothel used it to keep herself young and never told the girl that she wasn't really her mother. The queen and king never forgot their lost princess. Each year on her birthday, they sent lanterns floating through the night sky. Rapunzel didn't know that the floating lights she saw from her window were lanterns, but her dearest wish was to see the lights from up close. Not just from my window, she said. But Mother Gothel wouldn't let her go. She needed Rapunzel's magic in order to stay young. Instead, she told Rapunzel that the world outside was a scary place, too dangerous for her. Trust me, pet, she said. Mother knows best. One day, Mother Gothel went away. Before long, somebody climbed the tower. He slipped through the window and bang! Rapunzel knocked him out with a frying pan. The man, Flynn Rider, was a thief and on the run from the palace guards. Rapunzel searched his bag. Inside was a stolen crown and she tried it on. Rapunzel knew this was her only chance to see the floating lights. Flynn could be her guide outside the tower. When Flynn woke up, she offered him a deal. Deal? Flynn asked. He was still dazed from the frying pan. Rapunzel showed him a painting of the lights. Take me to these, she said. Flynn shook his head. No can do. He did not want to go to the city. He was trying to hide from the Sabington brothers, two thieves he had been in business with. The palace guards were also chasing Flynn. But Rapunzel had a bargaining chip, the crown. She'd return it only if Flynn helped her. So Flynn reluctantly climbed down the tower and Rapunzel used her hair to lower herself to the ground. The outside world was like a dream come true to her. She'd never run through the grass before, or climbed a tree, or sat in a field of flowers. Yet she felt nervous. Mother Gothel had said the outside world was scary. And Mother Gothel wouldn't lie, would she? Flynn tried to fight Rapunzel into going home. He took her to the scariest place he knew, the Snuggly Duckling. It was a tavern full of thugs. The thugs glared at Rapunzel, but when she sang about her dream of seeing the lanterns, they all became friends. The men even showed Rapunzel and Flynn a secret passage out of the tavern, just in time, too. The palace guards had tracked down Flynn and his stolen crown. As they were escaping, Flynn hurt his hand on a sharp rock. That night, Rapunzel wrapped her hair around it and his hand was healed. Flynn was so amazed, so Rapunzel explained about her magical hair. But once it's cut, she said, it loses its power. They sat close together by the campfire. Flynn was starting to fall for Rapunzel and Rapunzel liked Flynn a lot too. But could she trust him? Meanwhile, Mother Gothel had discovered Rapunzel was gone, and she began to search for her. The next morning was Rapunzel's birthday. Flynn led her to town, which was just as wonderful as the woods. She and Flynn danced and ate cake, and they took a boat to watch the lanterns. For the best day of your life, I figure you should have a decent seat, Flynn said. Twilight came, and glowing lanterns filled the sky. Rapunzel was so excited to see the light, she almost tipped the boat over. I have something for you too, she told Flynn. She handed him the crown. She finally trusted him, and Flynn knew what he had to do. Flynn went to shore and tried to give the crown to the Sappington brothers, but the thieves knocked him out. Then they found Rapunzel and convinced her that Flynn had given her up. A fair trade, they said. A crown for the girl with the magic hair. No, Rapunzel cried. She tried to run away, but she couldn't. Thump! Crash! Mother Gothel rushed in. She rescued Rapunzel from the thieves. She didn't tell Rapunzel she told the brothers to try and capture her in the first place. Mother Gothel and Rapunzel returned to the tower, but Rapunzel couldn't stop thinking of everything she'd seen. Suddenly, all the pieces fell into place. 
I'm the lost princess, she's realized. Mother Gothel froze. It was you, Rapunzel said bitterly. I should have been hiding from you. Insistently, Mother Gothel stopped pretending to be nice. She tied up Rapunzel, and soon Flynn came to the tower looking for Rapunzel. Mother Gothel hurt him. Rapunzel knew she could heal Flynn with her hair. I'll stay with you, she promised Mother Gothel. Just let me save him. Swear it, Mother Gothel said, and Rapunzel did. Flynn refused to let Mother Gothel win. Grabbing a shard from a broken mirror, he sliced off Rapunzel's hair. Immediately, it turned brown. What have you done? Mother Gothel shrieked as Rapunzel's hair lost its power. Mother Gothel became very old. Soon, she was gone. Rapunzel held Flynn tight. Without her hair, she couldn't heal him, and he slipped away. A single tear fell from her face, and it landed on Flynn, and it began to glow. He opened his eyes, and the magic in her tear had saved him. Overjoyed, Rapunzel and Flynn soon went to the palace. Rapunzel was welcomed by the king and queen, her real mother and father. They couldn't have been happier to have their daughter back. She wasn't the baby they'd lost anymore, but she was a lovely princess. And although Rapunzel's hair was no longer magical, she was still the most enchanting girl Flynn had ever met. The end. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little story time video. I'm sure I will have more coming in the future. I have lots of stories I would like to read you. If you would like to see more age regression content from me, you can subscribe to this channel. I try my best to post a couple videos a week over here. And if you'd like to keep up with me day to day in between uploads, you can be sure to follow me over on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. And if you feel so called to support me and my content, I have a Ko-Fi that is linked down in the description below, where you can tip me for just the price of the coffee. All of those tips go to helping me pay bills and live life, and I appreciate them so very much. I love you guys a whole lot, and I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye.